Successful attacks by Ukrainian drones deep inside Russian territory indicate a significant degradation of Russia's air defense system. George Barros, an expert on Russia at the U.S.-based Institute for the Study of War, ISW, told Business Insider. He noted that Ukrainian aircraft had begun to penetrate into areas where, in theory, they should not have been allowed in. Russian air defense should have been able to destroy them very easily, he stressed. The expert recalled that at the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russia's air defense was a formidable adversary for Ukrainian aviation. The Russians shot down Ukrainian planes and missiles, largely depriving Ukraine of access to Russian airspace. But over time, Russia's air defenses became stretched, which gave Ukraine new opportunities. Russia neglected to protect territories that are not near Ukraine, he said. Then, starting in the spring of 2024, Ukraine was able to sideline Russia's air defenses very deliberately. Many Russian air defense systems have been damaged and destroyed by Ukraine, and now the Ukrainian armed forces are attacking targets that were previously unreachable. The expert notes that now the main problem for Ukraine is to break through the border areas of the Russian Federation, saturated with air defense, and then the territory of the aggressor is not properly protected. Baros cites the April strike on Tatarstan, which is more than 1,200 kilometers from Ukraine, as a clear example of this. A small plane converted by the Ukrainians into a kamikaze drone was able to cover such a huge distance without hindrance. This incident was very revealing and showed that the Russians probably have positioned their air defenses in such a way that they have a good coverage in the immediate theater and around Ukraine. But beyond that, they don't have that, Baros said. ISW said Ukrainian strikes on Russian refineries continue to put pressure on Russia's air defense umbrella and force Russian military commanders to prioritize the allocation of limited air defense assets to cover what they believe to be high-value targets. Recall on July the 27th, Ukrainian drones struck the enemy military airfields Engels in the Saratov region, Diaghilevo in the Ryazan region and Olenia in the Murmansk region. An oil refinery in Ryazan was also attacked. It is also known that two long-range supersonic bomber missile carriers, Tu-22M3, were damaged at the Olenia airfield. In July, Ukraine launched more long-range drones than Russia for the first time. According to Forbes, Russia launched 426 Shahed drones against Ukraine in July. During the same period, Ukraine launched more than 520 long-range drones. Strong fire has occurred in an industrial area in northern Dublin. The National Police Force, Garda, reported that fire is located at an industrial premise in the Clonshaw area of Dublin 17. Dublin Fire Brigade currently have primacy at the scene. Gardai are assisting with traffic management at this time, a Garda statement said. Five fire engines, including a turntable ladder, are at the scene. Dublin Fire Brigade stated. Dublin Fire Brigade has advised local residents to close their windows and doors as a precaution if they can smell smoke. Footage from the area shows large plume of smoke from quite a distance away in Dublin city centre. The nearby airport has not been affected by the smoke blowing towards it. I don't know how it started. 